Father Kevin, it must be very fulfilling for you to know that so many lives have been touched coming out here, going through the experience of the retreat. Yes, it is. And you see sometimes uh, people come here for the first time and they look a little bit apprehensive and they're looking around and wondering. They usually come out with someone else. But when they leave, they're so excited. They say, oh, i got to tell my friends I didn't know this place existed. And it is very uh, encouraging, I guess, and inspiring even sometimes to hear some of these stories from people that have really uh, saw a new way for their lives or at least got through another crisis or another moment and uh, it's been very consoling to us as well or you know it's a ministry that I think is really important the, the sense of the goodness of all of the earth and of all of the people has to be a bottom line for what we do here in the name of the Christ that reveals that fullness Lord Jesus make me an instrument of your peace where there is hatred let me sow love where there is injury, pardon. Where there's doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console. To be understood is to understand. To be loved is to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. And it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Brother Carlos, what is it about St. Francis's life that you loved the most? I think um, his heart for the, uh, for the poor and for the simple life. And uh, of course, um, Fra Francis has a stress on uh, like uh, building community. Our society nowadays are, uh, you know, you can see the visible uh, brokenness of our society and there's so much division. And I think uh, community is the, one of the solution that we can, you can really um, um, unite those culture in one, right? So, and I think, um, that's very important, that community life uh, nowadays to, um, to think about. I like to say that a retreat is a time or a place where the silence of your soul can hear its voice. A time or a place where the silence of your soul can hear its voice because deep down in our hearts we know from Genesis that God saw that it was good and a person's very depth of being is good. And so if they can have time to be quiet and hear that voice within them, they will discover the goodness and grace of God that is there. And I guess that's really what a retreat is about, time to uh, discover the goodness and the grace of God that works in each of us as part of the body of Christ. And even the whole world, in a sense, is good. As creation says, uh, seven days he saw that it was very good. So we're here to discover that goodness and obviously We've got a beautiful area to do that in, whether it's walking the stations of the cross or just walking out in the fields. There's room here for people to just to be who they really are meant to be, and that's what a retreat, I think, calls us to. I think people are, are really seeking a more intimate relationship with, with the Lord. And uh, while they don't always really fully understand that that's what they are looking for, when they come to see me and we start sharing with one another, I find there's a real hunger in so many people for an intimacy with God. How do you discern when you have the right answer from God and yeah. the Holy Spirit? I think the whole nature of discernment is a, a very prayer, prayerful approach to seeking proper answers for the questions that are raised in the spiritual direction session. And so I never answer quickly, but silently pray and invite the person to pray with me uh, that uh, the Holy Spirit will give me the right answer or at least the right words that will lead people to seek uh, the truth wherever they can find it. When you talk to 
young men who are considering becoming a friar, what would you tell them is the best thing about living this lifestyle? I really think freedom. It's a great gift. It's, it's the gospel. It's what Christ gives us. Uh, as Jean Vanier said, uh, Jesus calls us to be free, not just to do what everybody else wants and become slaves to society or slaves to anyone. And uh, I don't want to be a slave. So through, through the encounter with the Franciscan community, I found a place where I could use my gifts for ministry. So I, I looked at ordination and uh, ordination within the context of a supportive a religious community, uh, having brothers, and not being out on my own, and um, and really doing what I like doing or would like do to do, which is ultimately what is going to make me happy. Universal Video Productions offers affordable web videos, virtual tours, product or talent promos, educational videos, interviews, and much, much more in standard def or in high def. Contact them at Universal Video Productions at telus.net or better yet, phone them at 403 251 0111.